All right, YouTube, listen up. All right, it's funny how clients get older, all right? You got your clients that's been rocking with you for years, and I'm not talking about the adults, I'm talking about the kids, all right? The kids will grow up on you fast, okay? And I'm gonna give you guys a little, little clip on who I'm talking about, all right? He looks young. So there he is right there. You know, I gave him a crop top. That video did numbers, okay? It did real good. And uh, he decided to grow his hair out and get a mullet. And at first, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't looking, it, it, it was looking strange. Cause you know, you have to go through that ugly stage before it could kind of look good. So right now I, I took the opportunity. He haven't got a cut in a long time. And he, he came back nicely grown in. And uh, I feel like I feel like I did real nice on this mullet. All right, this is my first mullet that I ever did that I really approve on. Okay, that I that I that I think I did a good job. All right, in the comment section, let me know. Okay, let me know if I if I pulled it off. I'm about to go get some cold stone, get some ice cream real quick. You guys, listen. If you like the video? Make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel? Hit that subscribe button. All right, it's your boy 360 Jeezy. Stay tuned. Where you get your beats? Russell James Productions. Alright you guys, so before I start cutting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin the hair on top. So we're not going to be touching any of the hair on the back because you want to keep growing that out. So right now I'm going to put my duck clips on both sides of the hair before I start cutting. Because really all we're doing is giving a high taper and cutting off a little bit on the top. Making sure the top transitions smoothly into the back. Now working on the taper, I'm gonna grab my Oster Cordless Fast Feeds with the one guard with the lever open. And I'm basically just debulking all of the sides, making sure I don't go into the long hairs in the back too much. Now I'm going to do some clipper over comb. I'm going to set my comb in between a 90 and a 45 degree angle. And I'm just going to take off whatever's on top. This is just building shape so the top has something to sit on. Now it's time to set in my bald line and I'm gonna do it a little differently. I'm gonna use my Babyliss Skeleton FX and I'm gonna set the triangle like shape in sideways instead of it being, you know, uh, like a burst taper. More kind of like an arrow shape. Um, I'm doing this to kind of create a, a, a burst effect shape with my high taper. Now using my FX3 shavers, I'm going to make the bottom half razor bald. I'm not going all the way up to that line. I'm just basically leaving some room just to create another transition. Now it's time to set in the next guideline with my lever open. I'm going up in that same triangle like shape, going up about a half inch, making sure I go over the guideline multiple times so it's at that lever open length. Same thing with the one guard with the lever open, going up about a half inch, going over that guy line multiple times, making sure that you can see that it's clearly in that, um, that triangle like shape. You really want to keep everything the same, uh, looking the same when you set in the guidelines. Don't make one look like a circle and the other one look like a triangle. Uh, keep everything consistent.
Now putting on the two guard with the lever fully closed, I'm basically scooping out into the bulk that's on top. I'm not really setting in a guideline at this point. I'm just kind of making sure everything flows from the one into that bulk on top. Now dropping back down using my one guard with the lever open in a flick out motion, I'm cleaning up that area between the one and the two. Now putting on the zero guard with the lever closed in a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. Now keep in mind, I'm using my corners the entire time. I'm not using the full blade because by using the full blade, you're not gonna keep that shape. You're gonna take off um, you know, hairs on the other side of that blade that you didn't want it to come off. So make sure you use the corners the entire time. Now with the lever fully closed and the flick out motion, the same way I took out that middle line with the zero guard closed is the same way I take it out with the lever closed, take out that bottom line. So make sure you use your corners the entire time and really try not to use the full blade because that's gonna mess up your shape. So right now, I'm gonna do some detail work. I'm not gonna just stop there. Um, there's areas where I could perfect the blend a little bit better. So I'm using my Babyliss FX3 clippers and I'm detailing my work. Um, I'm taking out that bottom line. Uh, also, I like to rest my eyes and then come back to the blend or use my mirror. The mirror to tells you a lot of things that you could not see with just looking dead on. So make sure you utilize that and just detail your work using your corners. So right now, I'm going to take out my duck clips. I'm going to saturate my client's hair with water. I'm going to section off the hair, um, section off the front, and then I'm going to make sure that that hair does not hang over on the side of the taper. And I'm going to basically do some shear over comb um, and take off about, you know, two inches on top. So now I'm going to blow dry in style. Uh, I'm using my styling comb, basically going in the direction that I want the hair to go in and then blow drying it that way. Um, I'm also going to be doing some clipper over comb after the hair is dry just to make sure everything, you know, lines up. So now that I'm done blow drying, I'm gonna pin up the front hairs and then I'm gonna take down those baby hairs using a one guard with the lever closed. Um, this is gonna make 
your lineup really crispy uh, to where you won't have that overhang and worry about uh, uh, hair just sticking up. Everything is going to lay down. Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360. When they sit in my chair, I spin them in a full 360, and they come out looking like... Damn, son. We make it look easy. You too. This is The Cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production, that's my brother. He does all my beats. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Make sure you guys go give him a follow. Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video, links will be in the description below. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My TikTok is official360jeezy and my Instagram is 360jeezy. But it's your boy 360jeezy and I'm out of here.